everyone. Welcome to BioPundit, your one-stop comprehensive bioinformatics training platform. I'm delighted to introduce myself, Rashubhito, your very own Chote Pandit. Today I'm going to discuss about a very important concept in structural biology, that is the hydrophobic effect. Hydrophobic effect is of immeasurable importance in structural biology because of its roles in, cru in crucial biophysical reactions such as folding of biological macromolecules, formation of cell membrane and vesicles, and protein-protein interactions. I would like to inform you that understanding the hydrophobic effect requires elementary knowledge in thermodynamics and molecular forces. I would like to encourage you to watch the videos on quantum structure of water and hydrogen bonding in water prior to watching this one. Hydrophobic effect comes in motion when hydrophobic substances are added to water. Before I explain any further, I need to remind you that liquid water structure is dominated by local ordering of water molecules by hydrogen bonding. If you think of ice crystals, water molecules have no translational or rotational motion. They are perfectly hydrogen bonded. Conversely, Water vapor has almost no hydrogen bonds at all. Molecular dynamics is highly random. The lesser the translational or rotational freedom, the less disordered the system is, which means entropy is low. To understand what happens if we add a hydrophobic molecule to water, we first take a look at the conformational entropy of a water molecule in liquid water. With each water molecule surrounded by four nearest neighbors, we can approximate the geometry around each water molecule as a tetranetron. The water molecule in the center can, can, can arrange itself in six different ways to hydrogen bond with two of its nearest neighbors. Now, what happens if we add some hydrophobic substances to water? Hydrophobic substances have no hydrogen bond donor or acceptors, but its physical presence would replace some water molecules. Let us say it replaces only one water molecule from only one corner of the tetrahedron. Eliminating one of the edges of the tetrahedron reduces the number of possible hydrogen bonding configurations from 6 to 3. In other words, by placing it next to a hydrophobe, we reduce the degrees of freedom of central water molecule from 6 to 3. The entropy lost in this process is 0 0.42 kilocalorie per mole. In these cases, water constructs a cage-like structure around the hydrophobic substances to minimize the entropy loss. Now think about two such hydrophobes, say lipids in water dislocating N1 and N2 number of water molecules. So, the entropy lost by adding lipid 1 in water is N1 times RT ln 2 and that for lipid 2 is N2 times RT ln 2. Now, if these two lipids come close and from a micelle, Obviously, you can expect that some water molecules would be returning to the bulk water. So, instead of adding lipid 1 and lipid 2 separately, if we add their muscle, it would have dislocated N3 times of N3 number of water molecules, such that N3 is less than N1 plus N2. Now, if you remember your high school classes, free energy of a process like this has an enthalpy component and an entropy component. The enthalpy term denotes the interaction the energy between the lipid and the water, which is usually very weak unless the lipid comprises of some polar head group. If the two lipids are the same, you can consider that the difference between an enthalpy component is zero. So, the free energy difference of lipid 1 and 2 forming a micelle in water is given as the negative of this T del del S, which is the negative of N1 plus N2 minus N3 times RT ln 2. As you can see, del del D is negative. The process is thermodynamically favorable. 
So, how do we interpret this result? Here is your answer. Water constructs a cage-like structure around the hydrophobic substances to minimize the entropy loss. When the two nonpolar groups associate with each other, water molecules are liberated from the solvation cell. Increasing the entropy. This association of hydrophobic molecules is purely entropy-driven effect and is called the hydrophobic effect. Hydrophobic molecules stick together to minimize the area exposed to water. The less surface area is exposed, the fewer water molecules have to suffer the loss of conformational entropy. So that's all about the hydrophobic effect, guys. This is all for now. For further information, please keep watching the other videos of BioPundit. Please feel free to contact us in biopundit at gmail.com and in our Facebook page with suggestions, requests for videos and asking for technical help. And you can also help us by subscribing our videos and our Facebook page so that we can continue our journey. Bye guys, see you soon.